Welcome back everyone, Drake Hawkins with you again, and we're back in Factorio. This is our Death World Extreme episode 138, and I'd like to thank everybody for coming along for the ride. Uh, so, we've been, uh, finally gotten to the point where we got, uh, uh, the trains running. They've got, uh, gonna have, have a quick peek at those so you can see where things are at. We got the, uh, trains functional. Um, where are we at? Come on, come on, up there we go, up there we go. Okay, so we added in more coal last episode, right? And uh, we got this uh, this leftover remnant feed here, and this one is uh, decently filling. It's it's not it's not keeping it cram packed full, but it's all right. It's a bit of a feed. Um, the trains do pump in uh, fairly frequently. Uh, in fact, there comes one right now as we speak. It should be barreling down the tracks. There we go. And that's going to offload pretty effectively here. So these uh, things are nowhere near full. Well, actually, this guy's 1.9k, so that's pretty close to full. Um, there would be a faster way to dump these off, I suppose. But um, really what matters is that this flow here is going. That these guys are continually piling off and that this is coming out as a full track which right now it does uh, and there should be another train coming in not too long to fill it in behind unless of course the trains are stuck again no that one's loading there i'll go down here that one's loading there good so we got these two loading they're not uh how are they doing they got lots of backup to load with and that guy's just about finished loading So this tra this uh, engine or this uh, top one right here doesn't quite fill up fast enough. We could balance that a bit differently if we needed to. However, there you go. This guy's back from the station and he's now oh, auto save. He's now filling and he is now full and heading out. So uh, where did that leave these stations or these containers for emptiness? Yeah, see they're not they're not full at all. So if I want to speed up the uh, the loading unloading process we could switch these up to um to stack inserters that would be a uh, a thing so wait let's do that 12 3 uh 12 36 stack inserters we're gonna need let's go ahead and do that and then we're going to continue our look at uh checking over science and seeing how the science has been going so far uh we basically need to make sure that our science has been uh um is actually flowing that we've got a decent supply of it um, where's my red belts I don't have any red belts going why is that or any red circuits going why is that what's missing for the red circuits now you guys are missing green circuits well is that because we're just improved things recently I think so but this is definitely not enough green circuits so we're gonna have to substantially improve the green circuit flow Although it looks like it's starting to get down here. Like, it wasn't filled up, and now it's, since we've got the uh, the iron increase, we've started to fill it up. So, yeah, it looks like that's going okay now. Uh, red science will just have to pick it up. You'll just have to pick up the pace, buddy. Uh, we're going to need a lot of gears to do this job. So let's uh, hang out here on this the edge of the splitter and grab them all. It's uh, 11 of them. We need uh, 36, I said. 5, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4. That'll be 25. 30. 35. 36. That should do the trick. Yeah, 36 of them. <clears throat> good, good, good. So we'll come up here, and I'm going to switch these so that the... Uh, the trains spend less time in the unloading stage. Now, there's also something I needed to do. Uh, thank you for the reminder in the comments there from, was it Bismarck? 
reminded me that uh, I can, can and should uh, fuel these babies from the back side. And, uh, like the top side here. And I did, but I wanted to make sure that I actually have a real fuel source coming in. Not this funky little chest of, of coal thing going on. And up here. And over to there. Good. And there. Good. Okay, so that will make sure these guys get fueled properly. Now, see this? If I go ahead and take these and switch... They're going to offload that train a lot quicker. Well, not that not that much quicker. That wasn't that wasn't magic or anything. So, what it'll do is these guys, I think they we can check when by clicking on them. He has a stack uh he can override the stack, but it's currently set to stack 4 at a time. So, instead of taking 2 off at a time, he's going to take 4 off at a time. We have science, however, that we can finish. Logistics 3 would be nice to get blue science, but I don't know that pumping uh, 1,200 production science in right now is the thing to do. I don't have the high tech for this. So I won't do that. Let's do the stack inserter, actually. Let's do the stack bonus. That'll give another bonus to the stack inserter. Switch them from 4 to 5. <clears throat> so right now, they don't need to be any faster offloading from the, from the uh, containers. We just need to get them out of this station faster. That's what that'll do. That'll bring them in. The trains will spend basically half the time to unload the trains. Because these containers aren't full. How close to full are these containers? Oh, those containers are full. Those guys are consistently not unloading. Yet those do. Why is that? Well, because this is not a proper balancer. Probably why. Probably why. Um, I'm just going to you know, jury in one of these. A bit, a bit of bad balancing. Is that going to speed things up? Somebody tell me if, I'm, if my concept is wrong here. I mean, it's a huge waste of resources, but I don't think that's actually going to balance any further. I think the issue, the bottleneck is right here, because these guys are not filling. What I should do is this, for the time being. I don't know. I don't know if this is going to be a wise choice or not. There's there's so much material left on there. I can let that run out until the steel does its thing. And then they'll actually be feeding something. But right now, they're just feeding a, fi a full steel line on both sides. So, Anyways, not that vitally important. Let's go ahead and keep looking over our system. So I'm going to make a few notes here as I go. Um, I think we need more green circuits. Uh, we need to up that maybe double double the green circuit output that we got going that might be a thing we want to do <clears throat> um because of course our red circuits are not coming off at the rate we want to and uh so that's keeping the blue science held back and right now the big kicker yeah it's simply not getting any green circuits on the line <clears throat> right now i think we're feeding two machines four sorry four machines two per side not even two machines because the green circuits are coming up from here, and they're just simply not getting through. They're getting used up making blues and reds? What? Do we make red circuits up here somewhere? Oh no, that's that's coming back and around the whole network. Uh, blue circuits right now. Yeah, that's interesting. We're making a lot of blue circuits that are doing nothing. So we're going to need those later, but... Uh, I think the next step is going to be to add in the rest of the production-based science. Um, and then we need to increase production science for sure. Because right now we have these lovely seven here. Uh, seven production and seven high-tech. But of course they're not fed properly at all. Uh, assembly machine ones and electric furnaces. So we don't have much of a feed of assembly machine ones. Why is that? What are they waiting for? They're also waiting for green circuits. Okay. Uh, how about electric furnaces? What do they take? Red circuits. 
steel and stone bricks. Well, we know what that means. Much to my sadness and dismay, that means I'm going to have to notably increase the uh, green circuits before we go any further. So I guess that'll be our uh, next step for getting the uh, base improved, volume-wise. Uh, let's clear out some of this nonsense. Oops. That's the wrong spout. Um, hmm. We could put a circuit network down here. A circuit feed somewhere down here. Because then we can run the, uh, like all of this, all of this entire copper can run out on one line. So there's no need for anything but, say, this right now. Right? None of this is necessary. All this is redundant materials right now. Um, so we'll leave it flow onto one line. <clears throat> there's a, there's enough drills here to, to only really feed one line at the moment. So do that. And that'll open up space that I could bring copper through. Uh, as in actual finished copper. Not the ore variety. Oops, that's not right. Uh, where's the yellows? There they are. Uh, there and there's also gone. Mm hmm. Uh, that should go. There we go. These guys are almost finished up. So this belt, this system will finish itself. Well, it's got 13,000 still there. So it won't won't empty out super fast or anything, but um, it will eventually get cleared out here. Uh, you can pop one of these babies right there. You can get rid of the redundant ones. Hi, stack bonuses. Uh, anything else that is... Uh, more trash slots. I can get five, six more trash slots. That might be a thing. Breaking speed of, t of trains. Yeah, that's all right. That'll increase their efficiency a little bit. Not much. It's not a big change, but it's a bit of a bonus. All right. So uh, coming down uh, with um, copper from the uh, from the main line here would be nice. See, there's the, the remainder of this copper bleeding off. You could go as far as somewhere over here and throw down a, a red splitter, and that would help, that would feed them together, I think. All right, so if I bring the, uh, the bus in this way, And then I take these guys out. Actually, I think I'm going to build another one of those and put in just the yellows for that. Probably don't need the whole thing. And then I'm going to offload a belt of uh, two belts of yellow. Two yellow copper belts, I think. Should be lovely. Um... Let's make one of those uh, uh, balancer here, and then we'll actually cut the balancer off. Uh, a couple of those guys to do this. Oops, that's not far enough back. And I'm going to run copper line down south, and we're going to look at expanding uh, in this episode, putting in another copper network. Unfortunately, this is expensive mode tech, so it's going to be expensive to do it. It's going to be costly. I don't like how much it costs me to do all these things. Um, so yeah, if you're if you're new to Factorio, I highly suggest don't do expensive mode. It's expensive. Hey, I don't need belts. I got lots here. Actually, they have lots. So I don't need those. I've got them on the main line. Okay, that was that was effective. 
uh, it was a 10% speed bonus. This is the train breaking force bonus, 10%. And then this one is going to be train breaking bonus of 20. I don't know if we're going to do that. Uh, we could do mining efficiency. That's a lot of science. That's 2,000 science to burn off for that. Uh, grenade damage. That might be nice. Flamethrower damage. Don't really use it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. What about discharge defense or personal laser defense? Let's go personal laser defense. Why not? That sounds fun. Pew pew. Uh, I forgot about these slots all the time. Please pick up the stuff for me. You super awesome creatures. So I'm slightly personifying little robots, but that's the point of the game, isn't it? All right, and you will do, uh, I guess just a copper feed like that, and then you guys can be rotated the other way. Uh, rump, 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 And down, and down. <laughs> Excellent. This is costing me nothing. And then uh, there, and over, and you come down here. I'm just reversing this entire belt. Oops. Oops. And you can go to there. And you can come down here. You can go like that. And like this. Lovely. Now, you guys come somewheres down here. Doesn't need to be all the way over here. So let's uh, rebuild our uh, copper. That's going to be our copper feed. And I guess I can bring an iron feed in here. was that all about man what was that I'll bring the iron down this way hi laser defense at the end of a line uh, sure charge defense unit that works uh, I really don't like I don't know like I don't have the production science and I don't have the high-tech science so it feels very very much like when you spam out all the first early red science, you're like, yeah, that's great, but I'm not going to use any of these things right now. So that's what it kind of feels like. Uh, oh, no, no, I don't need that. I need you. And you. Uh, and actually, you're going to be... Uh, one of those guys again. Give me one of those. Right there. And there. That's great. Thank you. And then you are going to come in like this. And you can do something different. I don't know what. You go there. You go like that. Good. Okay, so we got uh, iron coming down here. We got double uh, copper coming down here. Let's go ahead and grab the blueprints for those stations. Do we have... Uh, no, we don't. Assembly machines. We should probably grab some of those. Oops, didn't need to grab like that many, but okay, that'll do. Uh, some power poles. I've got power poles. I need inserters. Got lots of those. I think we should grab some yellow belts, probably. We can actually we can do that over here, because there's some over here. 
Uh, these guys don't really need to be storing anything, right? I mean, they can be done with that. This red belt nonsense here can be done. I don't need redundant backups for those belts. That can be grabbed out of there. This can be a backup. I'm okay with storing the extras here, but I don't need to back up all that. So let's grab one of these lovely parties. My pretty. Oh, hey. <clears throat> more research finishing. More what feels redundant research finishing. Uh, another uh, mining efficiency. Let's go that. Why not? Because I said I wasn't going to do it, but I might as well. Because there's so much to do. Um, now let's let's see where to blueprint this. Uh, I think we need to blueprint it right here, and then go like this. Zoom, zoom, zoom to say there, 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 there. To there would be lovely. Now let's go to there, like that. Good. That's gonna be my. Uh, did I make that? I didn't make it. What the heck? Why did you not make? Oh, I didn't. I didn't hit the checkbox. That's why you didn't make. Right there to right up about there, please. Checkbox. There we go. Now we got it. Okay. What's being blown up? More walls destroyed. Ugh. Are we on our way with repair replacement walls? Someone, please tell me you're on your way with the replacement wall. I don't know. We're going down that way. We will go ahead and uh, um, put a chest in there with some replacement walls. Six million mile run. Ah, looks like we are out of walls there. Uh, we have walls, but just there. No, okay, okay, guys. I didn't need you to actually do that. Oh, you jerks. I really actually want the walls in there. That's why I put them in there. Don't need the walls for myself. Okay. That worked. Got it fixed. Got the supplies. Hey, right, back up to top. Oh, look, I forgot there's iron patch still there. That's funny. Just sitting there outside the walls, being silly. Alright, so copper down here. We could upgrade that eventually, this eventually to even more copper. But let's see about putting in that blueprint for the copper. Where was that? There it is. Okay, so this is the input, that's the output. We can fit them right in... Uh, we can fit them right in here, and that's plenty good, actually. And these guys can actually just come along from the side. Whoops. Ooh, that sounds like it's getting some attention. A little bit of TLC. And, oops, that's going to be a fast... That's all right, a fast splitter doesn't hurt anybody's business in there and I probably need a few of these guys please place them in their spots all right and iron's gonna come down the bottom here this way and uh, hi my baby girl's not happy about something why is my baby girl not happy uh, what is going on? I thought there was a... Wait a second. Did I did I cut the wrong part? No, there's, it is five space. I thought it was three space. Oh, that's the, that's the old version. That's the less awesome non-Death World version. All right, and the iron just comes like this, right down, and runs out of belts. That's fantastic. Okay, and then there, like that... These are going to be beads under there. I think we'll actually offload that guy this way. That's fine. And uh, I can bring the copper down and do this. Boom, that should connect the other side. 
to get the gears going on that side. That's an autosave. That's actually a good reminder that we probably need to put in a cut here because we're running out of time for this episode. Uh, but, uh, got some green circuits coming off the line. That's a thing. Uh, so while I'm building this, I'm going to just throw this temp in here and chest these up for the moment while I try to recall what I'm going to do next. So this uh, can be duplicated, of course, and we'll go ahead and do that a few times, and we'll be, we'll be happy with that. Um, that can go there, and then it can go there, and then it can go there. Oops, not there. Not there. No, 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 Don't make that. Don't make all that. Don't make all that. No, no. Go away. Take that back. I take it back. I didn't want to happen. Uh, one, two, three, four. Let's go with six. Let's go with six batches of this. All right? That sounds good to me. Five and six. There we go. So probably going to need a whole, oh, look at that. Lots of goodies coming. Lots and lots of goodies. Uh, I think we got everything stored that'll take care of all of this. So, um, probably one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll probably do a uh, there and this sort of thing. So these guys are going to do there. Instead of that, they're going to come up top from here. These ones are going to come up, and these ones are going to come up, and the iron, however, is going to keep going down. We'll take care of that in a moment. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of robots trying to charge. Uh, that can come up, these can come down, that can come down as well. And then I actually don't need this whole rigmarole. I can just put that coming down here and here. And this one will feed this way. This one will feed this way and here. So that's going to be our feed in. And then I guess I'll just do um, red belts for all of this. Why not? And then we're going to put in a cut, and I'll come back next episode, and we will continue our uh, our uh, system of increasing green circuit network. And then hopefully that'll let us get enough red circuits that we can uh, get blue science going more full tilt, as well as uh, look into getting uh, the equipment in place for producing, um, what are they called? For producing the, um, stuff, things, stuff. The next science, the production science is the words I'm looking for. All right, you guys are all in place. I guess what we're, only thing we're missing here is a few of those pretty little things. Robots should take care of that. One of those, I guess, was all we were missing there. And then we'll bring the copper in. But that'll be next episode. Thank you all so much for joining me. And uh, I appreciate the support and the feedback. And uh, keep it coming. Um, I will, uh, as always, see you in game.